How you doing, bro? Every Sunday, I have this daily routine where I sort of get rid of all of my work. I sort of don't do very much work at all. And instead, I go to church and spend the day with my mum. Because Sunday is like her rest day, right? From work. And I just find this day to be the best day to spend more time with her. Spend more quality time with her. Because I don't get to see her much because of work. But the thing is with these Sundays is that... Sure, it's great to spend time in the sunshine with my mum. And company her throughout town or, or through parks. But I seem to have this lack of fulfillment whenever I don't do my work, whenever I haven't accomplished a significant amount of work for the day, for example, three hours of good quality work, I begin to have depressive symptoms. I begin to have symptoms of me falling behind and um, like a sort of a stressful deadline type of feeling, if you get what I mean. Because on these days I eat breakfast and I eat lunch a little bit earlier, I eat dinner and I watch movies with her and it's just not really fulfilling to a person like me. The most fulfilling thing I can do is my work. And so specifically last Sunday, I had my breakfast a little bit too early and last Sunday we couldn't go to church because my mom was sick, right? And she didn't want to cough like everywhere over church and fucking drink drink the blood of Christ, right? And and like put the fucking virus in there to all of the elderly people. She didn't want to do that. And so I ended up making breakfast right before church, but but we weren't going to church, right? So basically I just ended up making breakfast on a day where I could have worked a few more hours and then had lunch because we didn't go to church this day. I ate the breakfast, I drank a cup of coffee or so and watched a movie with my mum in the room where there was the most sunshine and it was nice and comfortable but I began feeling the depressive symptoms. The, the, the clock was ticking and every five minutes or so it began hurting in the middle of my heart here and I think that was because I knew in the back of my mind that after watching a movie and eating breakfast, if I were to work right now, it would be significantly less efficient than if I were to just wake up and work. Of course, you can still work, right? But it would be significantly harder to get into flow state and get into the zone of working. And so after this, I was mildly depressed and I went back upstairs for a little while and then for, for a few hours and then I would come back downstairs and join her for lunch or go out for lunch. I found that I was just sitting here in my chair. I was sitting here in my chair and I was looking at my script, my script for my videos and what I'm gonna do and my to-do list. And I couldn't do it. The, the, the barrier to doing it was too hard. I guess what I'm trying to say is I didn't want to fuck up my scripts. I know this is a bad habit and if, if you were to just work, it would be better, right? If you just, just work and upload it anyways, if it was shit. But I didn't want to make mess now for my future self when I'm more, more able in the brain to clean up. Because if I do the work now, my brain would actually write terrible scripts and then in the future I would have to clean that shit up, edit it and then quite possibly delete it all anyways and so it'd be a waste of time. And another thing was I didn't really have any scripts to work on. I didn't really have an idea on what to talk about. And so I literally just sat here and thought, sat here and felt the depressive system, this, this like lack of oxygen depressive symptom for 45 minutes or so, like nearly an hour. And guess what? I got five video ideas out of my head just like that. And they were all very, very good. They were all very hard hitting and they all appeal to an audience. They all appeal to you, or at least they seem like it. And another thing was when I was sitting there in my silence, my purpose began to surface up. I was originally clouded with depressive thoughts of, oh, why did I eat breakfast like that? Oh, why did I do that to myself? Why did I ruin my whole entire Sunday? And 
me just sitting there in my silence, a small motivation began to build itself. I began getting these motivating, purposeful ideas of, oh, I'm going to do this. This is my goal. How I'm going to achieve my goal. Some like small slivers of information that would help me towards my goal. I just kept on getting those. And that really, really helps me to get into the flow, get into this like um, new state, new mental state of being productive instead of depressed. But I do want to note that for the first 10 minutes or so of just sitting here in silence, I didn't get very much thoughts at all. I was just sort of here in my silence, feeling the pain. And after the 10 minutes or so, I began getting my first few thoughts and then it catapulted and then, and then more and then more and then more and then more, more thoughts until it was near, near the end of an hour and I began to trail off. And that was the end of my amazing outwork everyone by being bored session. And so I was fascinated by this, right? After having a seemingly productive, creative thought generation session after eating a big breakfast, I was confused and I was quite frankly interested in how I did this. And I actually fall back to a book, which is acting as a sort of camera stand right now. So I can't really take it off. Otherwise my camera would fall, but it's the way of the superior man and the guy in the book said that a man's like purpose surf resurfaces up to his like conscious mind whenever he is free from distractions. So, for example, if someone's feeling pain or anxiety or depression, they would often go and solve solve that momentarily with a TV show, some alcohol, some drugs, but they would never really sit in that pain and let your body tell you what it needs to get rid of that pain. They would straight away go and find something to solve it temporarily. And so the guy in the book says that if you are still and you are not stimulated in any way, that is when you find your purpose. That is when you find what you are meant to do. And that is when your brain gives you brilliant ideas. I don't know where exactly I heard this from, but apparently some some spiritual people said once that God whispers, God or this higher being or this, this spirit, it whispers, God whispers, and you can't hear him unless all of these distractions are thrown away. And apparently praying is sort of like talking with God instead of talking to him. Talking to him is just like, oh, I need this today. Today was a, uh, um, like this and, and the troubles, please help me out here. Whereas talking with him is like really, really sitting there in a the silence and thinking about all the things that you are grateful for and talking with him, basically. Not just not just asking for everything and wanting everything, just sitting there in the silence and observing, basically. So God whispers, and so you must cut out everything to hear him. With that being said, thank you so much for watching this video, bro. In a bit.